In this video I will show you how you can create a simple virtual form without using any coding. We will create this form. This is a product form that is bound to this uh, worksheet products. You can see this is our data and you can see that we will create a virtual form that is able to change some data on this worksheet. Let's change something, let's save it. Here are the changes and let's see if the product ID 2 has changed also in our sheet. Here it is. Let's try to add a new value to our worksheet. New product ID will be automatically added by the virtual form control. My product, okay, category ID 1, the unit price 12. Here it is, ID 78, my product. And let's see if this is also added to this sheet. My product product ID 78. After you have downloaded uh, the virtual phones framework from our web page you simply need to unpack it into a folder. After that you need to go into this folder and run the setup that is here virtual phones setup beta. This will install uh, two components one is virtual form control and the next one is uh, a virtual form designer. This virtual form designer also uses virtual form control. Uh, what does this mean? This is a proof that uh, virtual forms can also work uh, in a separate application because virtual form designer is a separate standalone application so you can use a virtual form control within microsoft excel word powerpoint or any other uh, environment that support active x technology this means that you can also create uh, standalone applications uh, using virtual form control like in uh, for example Visual Studio 2017 or you can create um, your virtual forms in Microsoft Excel and also use these virtual forms within a standalone application that you can build with Visual Studio 2017. We can now go into the blank templates folder. Here you have a few blank templates for now. Let's go into this blank template for Excel. Here we have two files. You can get them and copy them wherever you want. We can also rename them. And if you are renaming this blank template Excel, my Excel app you also need to okay my excel app you also need to rename this blank template we have file with the same name now we can start our blank template or this excel workbook so not only uh, virtual form control can be used in uh, standalone applications, uh, virtual form control can also connect to some different database types. Not only Microsoft Excel workbook can uh, be here to provide us with data, but also it can connect to MySQL. It can also c uh, connect to Microsoft SQL Server. It can also connect to uh, Microsoft Access databases. Okay, let's go. Uh, the simplest uh, and the most easiest way to create your first uh, virtual form application is by using these uh, blank templates. You simply go to open my main menu and to open 
virtual form designer as I mentioned earlier this is a, a separate standalone application that was also built uh, with help of virtual form control after the virtual form designer has loaded we have this screen now we can go and create our new form click on a new form and here we have virtual form designer is asking us to choose what table we want to use because we only have one sheet in our excel workbook we need to uh, provide some sheets with data so i will exit virtual form designer for now here i have a sample data microsoft excel workbook I will copy this, go to copy this workbook. I want to copy this in my Excel app workbook. Create a copy and move to the end. Okay. And here we have it. Let's save this. We can close this sample data for now and now we can go again into our virtual form designer let's see now if we have some other worksheets to be able to use them as a database, database source for our form and here we have product worksheet let's select it it also asks us uh, to provide an ID field name. If you are not sure what this means, what uh, Virtual Form Designer wants from you, you can simply go to this uh, field and simply click on it and it will open a help file that is directly on our web page from our documentation and it will uh, scroll to this uh, field description to this field help section so that you can see what this is all about what uh, the virtual form designer wants from you and here we have it id field name here you can read all about it but uh, I will tell you that this is a primary key for a table or a unique uh, field or a unique column that needs to uh, be uh, present in our workbooks in our Excel or in our other tables if we use some other data sources like MySQL like, like uh, Microsoft SQL Server or uh, like Microsoft Access database in this case the unique field for this table or a sheet is product ID. In this product ID is a type of numeric and we also want this ID type to be automatically add new values to the ID fields. So we don't need to worry about this ID. The virtual form control will automatically put the values that it needs to be added to this field and we can go to save save changes yes and now we can add some columns to our grid control yes all fields let's add all fields process okay and we also want to add fields to our edit control yes process all fields okay and this is it we have our first virtual form named product our internal name is vf2 let's exit this and let's try to open this virtual form vf2 or in our case products and here we have it this is grid control and this is edit control and this is it we have created our first virtual form